Toyota really kind of doesn't want to dive into anything too quickly and then have to waste billions upon billions of dollars investment. In a world where electric vehicles have become the present reality rather than a distant future, Toyota, an automotive giant, appears to be steering its own course. While electric cars are causing a revolution and prompting many to swap gas pumps for charging cables, Toyota seems to be taking a different path. Is Toyota hesitant, resistant, or is there a masterful strategy at play here? Let's delve deep into the true reason behind Toyota's reluctance to fully embrace the electric revolution. It's 20 years and they're no longer innovative and they're no longer sustainable in our eyes. As we cruise through the 21st century, something electrifying is happening all around us, literally and figuratively. Electric cars or EVs are stealing the spotlight, turning heads, and redefining how we get from point A to B. You've probably heard of Tesla, the sleek cars that seem more like symbols of the future than mere rides. But here's the twist. It's not just Tesla that's sparking this transformation. Traditional car makers are also joining the electric revolution. Ford's Mustang Mach-E charges ahead with enthusiasm, Volkswagen's ID series promises to make electric cars accessible to all, and Hyundai's Ionic range shows that you can have style and sustainability in one package. Billions of dollars are being poured into research, development, and marketing to make electric cars the new normal, not just a fancy exception. This isn't just about innovation, it's about answering a clear call to action. The world is waking up to climate change, pollution's dangers, and the undeniable advantages of green energy. The shift toward electric vehicles is no longer a trend, it's a global necessity. As big car companies pivot and adapt, we wonder, where does Toyota, the world's biggest car maker, fit into this electric landscape? Let's rewind a bit. Toyota has a history of innovation. Remember the Prius? When it hit the scene, it was a game changer. It introduced hybrid technology, blending gasoline and electric power, and became a symbol of eco-conscious driving. Toyota made hybrids cool, capturing the hearts of those who wanted to make an eco-friendly statement. But as the world shifted toward fully electric vehicles, many expected Toyota to make a big move. And when they finally did with the Toyota BZ4X, it wasn't as smooth as they hoped. A global recall due to wheel bolt issues? That wasn't something we'd expect from a company known for top-notch quality and reliability. People scratched their heads, wondering why this company, which had once led the innovation parade with the Prius, was hesitating now. Was it just because of the BZ4X's problems, or was there a deeper strategy at play? To find clues, let's turn to Toyota's leadership. Akio Toyota, the former CEO, didn't mince words. He expressed concerns, suggesting that EVs might be more hype than a true green solution. He painted a broader picture of Toyota's vision, one that didn't rely solely on batteries but spanned hybrids, hydrogen fuel cells, and even good old internal combustion engines. While other companies raced toward full electrification, Toyota seemed to take a zen-like approach, calm and contemplative like a grandmaster in a game of chess. They appeared to be thinking several moves ahead while their competitors rushed into action. But why does Toyota seem to be taking this cautious approach? Is it a well-thought-out strategy or just plain stubbornness? When you think of Toyota, think endurance. This company doesn't plan for the next final quarter or even the next decade. Their game plan stretches across generations. Akio Toyota's transition from CEO to chairman isn't an exit. It's a strategic shift in position. He remains the maestro, conducting Toyota's symphony from a loftier vantage point. At first glance, Toyota's reluctance to dive headfirst into the EV market might appear counterintuitive. However, consider this. While other automakers are scrambling to secure supplies of rare minerals crucial for battery production, Toyota is taking a different approach. Instead of rushing to sell EVs, potentially at a loss as some competitors are doing, Toyota is patiently waiting for profitability. They understand that global preferences for vehicles vary widely. For some, the roar of a gasoline engine still holds an irresistible appeal, while for others, the quiet hum of an EV signifies the future. Toyota isn't betting everything on a single horse. They're playing a diversified hand poised for multiple potential features. It's not just a matter of public opinion, though. Toyota is also factoring in valid concerns about EVs. Keep in mind that while parts of the Western world are accelerating toward electrification, substantial portions of Asia, Africa, and South America are on a different trajectory. These markets have their own unique challenges and requirements. Toyota's newly appointed CEO, Koji Sato, embodies this perspective, emphasizing the importance of flexibility and tailoring products to meet diverse carbon-neutral demands. 
As the debate over EVs rages on, we must ask ourselves, is it truly just a matter of electric versus gasoline, or is there a more intricate tapestry of sustainable transportation solutions yet to be discovered? Often, we view the automotive landscape as a straightforward battle between electric and gasoline vehicles. However, this perspective merely scratches the surface. As we delve deeper into the realm of sustainable transportation, we unearth a rich ecosystem of solutions. While electric vehicles may currently be in the spotlight, a chorus of voices from the scientific community advocates for a more holistic approach. While the European Union and countries like Canada and South Korea are eyeing an EV-centric future, they also recognize the importance of diversified energy solutions. After all, the challenges faced by a commuter in urban Toronto differ significantly from those encountered by someone navigating rural landscapes in Africa. Let's not overlook the potential of hydrogen as a fuel source. Some experts believe that hydrogen could fill the gap in places where electric infrastructure is lacking, offering an efficient, green and potent alternative to traditional fuels. Toyota, with its deep roots in hybrid technology and ongoing experiments with hydrogen fuel cells, clearly isn't putting all its eggs in one basket. This broader perspective reminds us that the future of transportation isn't about picking winners and losers. It's about crafting a mosaic of solutions that cater to the diverse needs of consumers worldwide. However, as we revel in the world of possibilities, a significant question looms. Is Toyota's decision to delay their full commitment to EVs a masterstroke or a potential pitfall? Like any strategic decision, especially one as substantial as Toyota's, there are inherent risks and rewards. Toyota's diversified approach in the face of an industry-wide rush toward electrification can be compared to a chess game, where every move is carefully considered and several steps are thought out in advance. But as many chess players will tell you, even the most carefully planned strategy can have unintended consequences. By hesitating on a full-blown commitment to EVs, Toyota risks losing a share of the growing market, particularly in regions with robust EV incentives and infrastructures. Companies like Tesla, Volkswagen, and Hyundai are not just selling cars. They're building strong brand loyalties with a new generation of drivers committed to sustainability. However, Toyota's commitment to variety, be it hybrid, hydrogen, or continued refinement of the internal combustion engine, could also be their ace in the hole. In markets where EVs are not yet practical due to infrastructure or economic reasons, Toyota's diversified range can offer solutions that other brands cannot. Nevertheless, potential pitfalls cannot be denied. As more countries set definitive timelines for phasing out internal combustion engine ICE vehicles, Toyota may find its vast resources spread thin, trying to cater to disparate markets with contrasting demands. So, is Toyota's broad-spectrum approach a visionary strategy, or are they walking a tightrope over the chasm of market irrelevance? As we conclude our journey, we're about to peer into the possible futures of the automotive world, and what lies ahead might surprise you. As the sun sets on the era of internal combustion engine, the dawn of new propulsion technologies beckons. Toyota, with its multifaceted approach, paints a picture of what might lie on the horizon. First, we might witness a world where the automotive market becomes even more fragmented than today. Regions with strong electric infrastructure would be dominated by EVs, while areas with logistical challenges might lean heavily into hybrids or hydrogen fuel cells. This would make the automotive market much like today's tech market, where various devices cater to different user needs. Second, there's the possibility of convergence. While Toyota diversifies now, they might pivot aggressively once a particular technology gains undeniable global momentum. With their vast resources, they have the capacity to shift gears, pun intended, faster than many expect. Lastly, Toyota's belief in hydrogen could herald a significant market disruption. If they can make hydrogen fuel cells more efficient, affordable, and widespread, they might redefine the automotive future, positioning themselves at the forefront of a hydrogen revolution. Now, as we've navigated the past, present, and speculated futures, one question remains. How will all these factors shape the decisions not just of Toyota, but also of other industry giants? We're about to piece together the puzzle and see the bigger picture. Toyota's movements in the automotive landscape are akin to the wake of a colossal ship. It's felt even by the smaller boats miles away. Their strategic decisions today have a trickle-down effect, influencing not only direct competitors, but also the numerous businesses attached to the automotive supply chain. Consider this, as Toyota continues to hedge its bets on multiple propulsion technologies, suppliers worldwide are encouraged to diversify their research and development investments. 
This means that rather than pooling all resources into electric propulsion, significant effort and funding might also flow into refining and advancing hydrogen fuel cells, hybrids, and perhaps even cleaner combustion technologies. Furthermore, other automakers are undoubtedly watching Toyota's steps closely. Given Toyota's long-standing reputation for manufacturing prowess and strategic foresight, their hesitation to go all-in on EVs might give other companies pause. This isn't about blindly following but taking a moment to consider the broader implications and possibilities. Moreover, as Toyota invests funds into regions with less EV adoption, they are also laying the groundwork for future automotive infrastructures in these areas. Whether it's establishing more hydrogen refueling stations or enhancing hybrid tech support, they are shaping the future automotive landscapes of these regions. If you are fascinated by the all-electric visions of the future, it's essential to recognize that Toyota's strategy is not a rejection of electrification, but rather a calculated exploration of a broader spectrum of technologies and market landscapes. It's a strategic approach that takes into account the diverse needs, preferences, and challenges faced by consumers globally. As the automotive industry continues to evolve, Toyota's approach serves as a reminder that there isn't a one-size-fits-all solution to sustainable transportation. The transition to cleaner, more efficient propulsion technologies is a complex puzzle with many pieces, and Toyota is actively working on assembling them in a way that best serves the world's diverse transportation needs. In essence, Toyota's multifaceted strategy is not about resisting change, but about embracing it thoughtfully and purposefully. It acknowledges that the path to a sustainable automotive future isn't a straight line, but a winding road with multiple routes. While electric vehicles may be at the forefront today, the road ahead offers plenty of forks, each leading to different destinations. So, is Toyota's approach a visionary roadmap to navigate the future of mobility, or are they taking a cautious detour? Share your views in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, show us some love by hitting that like button and leaving a comment down below. Also, if you're a fan of all things technology, be sure to check out this other video we've got lined up for you. It's packed with all the latest news, tips and tricks to keep you ahead of the curve.